but I'm just gonna do a review on my Humorex Walther PPKS um, BB pistol. Um, so in this video, um, I'm not gonna do any shooting. It's just gonna be a review, and I guess some opinions of what I think about this uh, BB gun. So um, I I use Crossman CO2 cartridges and Daisy um, premium grade BBs that are zinc plated. Um, the the this gun it doesn't shoot pellets; it only shoots BBs, which are .177 caliber BBs and are uh, metal. So, all right, let me start with the gun. So here's a box. It says Walther PPK slash S semi-automatic COT CO2 BB pistol .177 caliber. It's got blowback. It's got a 15 shot magazine. It shoots up to 295 FPS or feet per second. Um, on the side, it just says um, blowback action, heavyweight metal construction, and 15 shot magazine. And it's recommended for 16 and plus older. The back, um, Umarex USA. Um, it just tells you the the um, the details about the gun, like. Um, it weighs 1.2 pounds, single action repeater, um, what, you know, just the regular stuff. Um, it also shows what kind of accessories you can get, such as extra magazines or lasers. Um, I don't have any of those, I just have the gun and that's pretty much it. Um, it says right here from Big Five for $89.99, but it was on sale, so. Um, I forgot what I got it for, but it was cheaper than $89.99. Um, it says made in Japan, so it's not that bad. Alright, so opening the box. Oops. Here you got the gun. Uh, here, let's see, pretty much it's it's what they talked about in the front of the box. Uh, and let's take out the gun. Here it is. Um, let's see, what did I drop here? I got oh, here's a operational manual on how to use a gun or do something with the gun. Um, recommendations for what kind of stuff that or promotions or something. Um, Colt 1911 A1 Tactical. Looks nice but uh, I probably wouldn't buy it if it's not uh, blowback or anything. Super Dome for pellets but this gun doesn't shoot pellets. I don't even know why they have that there. Um, it just tells you what it could shoot with what kind of BBs or pellets. And that's pretty much it. Registration and don't return this product to the store. I'm, I haven't registered this gun yet and I've had it for about a year. So, alright, here we go. Full metal construction. Um, weighs one and a half pounds or 1.2 pounds. Um, it's got trademarks right here. It says Walther, Carl Walther, um, unlimited for a Umarex USA model PPK slash S. Cal 4.5 millimeter or 0.177 caliber BBs. Um, grips are plastic. They have Walther on them. Um, and yeah, pretty much everything is metal. Uh, cl um, clip is plastic, and this little um, turning right here to lock the CO2 cartridge in is also plastic. Um, bottom right here is plastic, and that's pretty much it. So, um, here's, it's got a full working hammer to decock it, just hold on trigger, most, mainly everyone knows that, um, uh, let's see, uh, mag release, right here, 15, yep, really thin, don't like that, I could have made it more realistic, but, oh well, to load the CO2 cartridge, put your finger right here and just, Left up with that, and there you go. You got your CO2 cartridge right there. Let's see, let's put that back, let's snip it in. Another side, it says made in Japan, a serial number, and just a warning. Um, and then you got your fire and safety. One thing I don't like about this is that it scratches the, the body of the gun right here when you switch it, and I don't find that very 
good. <laughs> um, open ejection port. That's nice. Um, let's see. So, pretty much cocked back, and that's it. You got sights right here, metal sights. Um, it's pretty much it. Pretty much. Uh, I'll probably do another video when I, when I'm shooting it. Uh, maybe it might be today. It's pretty sunny outside, so maybe I'll go out there and uh, film this. Well, BB comes out. <laughs> Mm, I think it's a pretty decent gun. Some people don't like it. They think it's maybe a paperweight. <laughs> uh, I've seen some videos where people don't really like this gun. Um, I forgot the reason why, but I think it's pretty decent. I'm, I am thinking about maybe getting another one, possibly a 1911. That's powered by CO2. You know, I don't really like green gas because it costs a lot. Or maybe I would go with propane, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this gun is probably a year old now, and it might need some lube after I've used it so many times. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, well, thanks for watching.